good late afternoon everybody i was gonna say evening it's technically not evening yet it's not even half four but it is very dark outside it is saturday and i've got tonsillitis i've actually had a relatively tonsillitis free um autumn winter this year which is a stark contrast to last year i think i had it once for sure late august early september and then I think maybe once more in between, but I can't actually be sure whether that was actually tonsillitis or whether that was just another sore throat related illness. But this time it's definitely tonsillitis. My right tonsil is very swollen and sore to the point where it feels like my throat is closing up and my neck hurts and I'm just very groggy and tired. And so I spent most of today passed out on the couch. All of the energy I've exerted today, I've made sure it's gone to household jobs rather than the thing that I really wanted to do today which is start getting all of the Christmas decorations up we are getting our tree tomorrow which is very exciting so I'll have that tomorrow but I wanted to get like all of the little knickknacks out at about uh, today and I haven't done it yet but I do want to get it done tonight so that tomorrow I can just do the Christmas tree and then sleep for the rest of the day the tonsillitis that I get is like really horrible because I'm not like bed bound ill like I can still function but just like with extreme difficulty <laughs> I'm just so tired and my throat hurts and I shouldn't really be doing anything I should be resting and drinking lots of water and the things you're supposed to do when you're not well there's a cat trying to knock the camera out of my hand no but um life doesn't work that way you know sometimes you gotta get stuff done even when you're sick I did a bunch of jobs this morning and then I've spent the afternoon napping a little bit, not a lot, just a teeny bit, um, and cuddling the cat. Lounging around just to try and rest myself. And I think I've got enough energy now to start getting the Christmas stuff out before dinner this evening. I also need to do a little bit of Christmas shopping this evening because I've, I've, I've not done it really i went christmas shopping last weekend with my mom and my sister and it's given me ideas of what i want to get people but i haven't actually gotten most of them yet and my mom's just reminded me that there's obviously loads of strikes of the royal mail at the moment so i should probably get on stuff sooner rather than later i'm gonna get some christmas stuff out and then i'm gonna get out my laptop and do a bit of christmas shopping so it's time it's time i'm gonna get up stuff as i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it and you like that little spot next to the radiator where it's warm. I've had the heating on today. Today's like the first day ever we've had the heating on most of the day. And Slippers really loves it because she likes a nice radiator. Don't you ever? You like it when it's nice and snuggly, don't you? Good morning everybody, it is Sunday morning. We are up and, oh crap, I missed a phone call from Chris. 
Uh oh, I'm feeling a bit better this morning. Uh, my throat still really hurts, but it definitely feels less swollen and less sore. It's definitely going down. I'm on the tail end, which is good. Um, and I'm feeling much less groggy today. I woke up just before eight, came down, had some tea and some breakfast. And I feel, I feel good. Well, as good as I can coming off the tail end of some tonsillitis, but uh, definitely spending most of yesterday lounging around doing nothing was definitely the way to go. I didn't end up showing you all of the Christmassy bits that I ended up doing yesterday because I kind of had stored up all of my energy resting throughout the day specifically to get them all out and then as soon as I got them out I just wanted to pass out again uh, and it was also dark. The only way I would have been able to show you is if I had turned on all the spotlight lights and that lighting is really bad to film videos in so I just I just decided show you now i'm gonna show you now chris has just popped to the supermarket um to do our weekly food shop before we go out and get our christmas tree so i thought i'd take this opportunity now show you all of the christmas decorations that i got out last night because they're very cute and i'm very proud of them okay first thing is this corner here so that's my advent calendar so if you know me or you've you've watched my last uh few years of vlogging i get two advent calendars one is like a pocket advent calendar and one is um a picture one this is my picture one. It's kind of difficult to tell which one's open or not because basically each window, let it focus, each window is literally a window. So when you open it, it just changes the window display. So it's a little girl looking out the window today's. And then you open it, it's a sign that says Santa stop here. And then it says 21 days to go. It's cute. I like it. I've kind of put it there over the picture frame that's there that we've Chris has decided to blunder because he's put like a photo in it that doesn't fit. Um, we need to find a proper picture for it. Um, but I figured doing that kind of covers that up and makes that aesthetic. And then that's our first Christmas card from Chris's uh, aunt and uncle, which is very cute. So this side, I, we used this candle last night. Let me put the lid back on. Let me put the lid back on. Here's our little Christmas corner over here. So that's my little Christmas tree that I had in my bedroom on my bedside table growing up. I've decided to put it down here on the windowsill. I thought it was cute. There's my Christmas tink. I have a Halloween tink and a Christmas tink. This is my Christmas one. And then we've got this Bath and Body Works Twisted Peppermint Candle. It's a few years old now, but it's... We lit it last night. Made the room smell very Christmassy. We have the giant Christmas throw, which is a little bit crooked because I literally just threw it on there. Let me just straighten that up. Uh, I got this from HomeSense uh, when we went for Halloween decorations a few weeks ago. Um, I kind of just saw it and thought, yes, I need a Christmas blanket to make this room Christmassy, and that's what we went for, and I love it. There's our Christmas garland. It's kind of sprayed everywhere. It's like all over the stairs. There's like fake snow <laughs> that I need to vacuum up, uh, but it looks cute. I really like it. Got our coats on the end, which I think actually just adds to it because all our winter coats. We don't have any hooks in at the moment for our coats and scarves and gloves and things, so we put them on the end of the banister. But I think that adds to the winter aesthetic, though. <laughs> Cute. Let me come into the kitchen. So this is my little Christmassy. Let me turn the LEDs on. Yes. This is my little Christmassy display thing. My little three-tier display thing. So I had a Halloween one. My Halloween one I don't think looked as good as this. I think I've got less Halloween trinkets than Christmas. Um, and I couldn't fill it up as much and therefore it didn't look as good. With this one, however, I've got lots of little random Christmas bits. So I've got a little bit of tinsel and wrapped it all around. Got a cracker there at the bottom. Got Santa and these are from my Playmobil advent calendar from 2020, if you watched that far back. There's also a little Christmas snow globe thing back there. Um, and then I've got this little thing that I've had for years. It's just a Santa that says my name. Then this is another little candle. It's a Christmas tree candle. I don't know how scented it is. We did light it last night, but I think because the peppermint one was so overwhelming, uh, we didn't really, we didn't really smell this one very much. I also have some um, Christmas soap as well, next to all my laundry stuff, just just to add that in here. And then the final thing that I did was I got the Christmas bedding out. Because my colour scheme in my bedroom at my parents' house was pink, this bedding clashed and I had to get pink Christmas bedding. Which was cute, but wasn't my my vibe, you know? I like to embrace the seasonal colours. I wanted it to be red, white and green, and we just couldn't 
make that work in my old room. Now that we have a neutral bedroom, this colour scheme works perfectly. And I was absolutely chuffed to get this out. So we've got Christmas tree bedding with a little Christmas pillow there that Chris's mum got me a few years ago. There's a cat. Yeah. What do you think about the Christmas bedding? It's so cute. But yeah, I got very festive last night. Um, was very, very proud of myself. Oh, and there's also one more candle. I got like a pine tree candle. I figured put this one upstairs because we have an actual Christmas tree coming in downstairs and hopefully that should smell like real Christmas trees. So I have the fake Christmas tree candle smell up here instead. That was a neighbor opposite in the house opposite looking out the window watching me vlog, that's embarrassing. Hello. Yeah, that was last night and I'm very chuffed with myself. And then I passed out on the couch and went upstairs to bed. Productive day, considering I was tonsillitis ridden. Productive day. But yeah, today we're gonna to go get our Christmas tree and then we're gonna decorate it. That is the plan. Chris is just gonna come back from the food shop and then we're gonna go. So yeah, I'm just watching some Christmas Zoella. If you've, again, if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, you will know Christmas Zoella is um, my fave. So I'm watching some of that, get me in the festive spirit. And then, yeah, I might edit this clip while I'm, uh, while I'm waiting for him to return so I don't have to do much editing later. Hey little, just got in. Clearing space. We're gonna put the tree on this corner here. So we're just clearing the space for it. Am I not paying you any attention? I'm so sorry. Literally just walked in the door and she wants a cuddle. I'm so sorry. Chris is just uh, washing down the Christmas tree stand. Oh. 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 Very exciting. So we're gonna start putting it in. What's that? Christmas tree. We did it everyone. 
we got the Christmas tree up, we got the house all decorated for Christmas. I'm so glad that we got it sorted because I don't know when I would have had time. And I feel like next weekend onwards it's it's just gonna be too late to start getting the stuff sorted. So I'm very glad that we're all Christmassy and we're all decked out. I'm very, very happy with this weekend. I think considering I've been tonsillitis ridden, I've been very productive. And I'm very, very proud of myself. Now, I'm gonna have some dinner. I'm gonna edit you. I've just started The Walking Dead. Um, because I finished Game of Thrones, so I needed a new TV show to watch that I knew Chris wouldn't like. And I know The Walking Dead is not one of his... not his cup of tea. So yeah, I'm going to edit you and have dinner, and I'll see you guys next week. I don't know what next week is going to be, I don't actually know what my week involves next week. But hopefully, something Christmassy. Huh, Slippers? Something Christmassy? Thanks very much for watching everyone and we'll see you guys next week. Bye!